let's look at um, importing a profile so you've got your voice attack installed you've installed the voice pack and now you want to import a profile so that you can get up and running with the voice pack so this is a pre-configured profile so it's got the command in commands that we've set up in there similarly to what we've already seen um, but instead of having to create a load of new commands they're all neatly done for you some of the commands are more complex than others but we'll we'll look at those in a moment and try and simplify them but first of all let's look at how we import a profile so firstly click on the edit button here and then what we'll do is we'll import some commands so if we go to the sound pack uh, this may not look like uh, your profiles in your sound pack for the moment but wherever they are um, just browse for them they'll probably be in this folder here profiles but what we're going to do first is um, I'm just going to import this profile profiles that you'll see uh, later on when the packs somewhat more complete uh, you'll see all of this stuff um, or any submitted profiles that we've got but for now I'm just going to import this VAP file here the file extension VAP is stands for voice attack profile um, and it's just VAP and that's how you recognize them so we'll open this one pre-done profile straight away there's a lot of scary stuff there it's like what is all of that but you know don't worry about it just import now once you've got your profile installed like this there is a huge amount in here so and it's got lots of descriptions the categories shortcuts it's like whoa it's all a bit scary but you don't need to be scared of it you just need to import it and click done and from there you've now got a whole host of said commands so if we just click edit again we can see that all of the spoken commands are listed on the left here so if you say cargo scoop that's that's what you would do cargo scoop down cargo scoop up all of these are the spoken commands as it says at the top now by clicking these labels at the top you can have them form alphabetically or you can have them uh, with the descriptions or just make sure that, that they're in categories whichever you choose um, I tend to use categories more than anything um, because it's easier to scroll up and down and recognize which is which like we've got key bindings ETD which is engines thrusters and drives and so on so if we go down to engines thrusters and drives you'll see that I've got all of these different ways of asking it to get to either quarter speed or 25% speed whether it's thrusters or whether it's you know your main drives in supercruise or whatever I've got lots of different ways of asking it and that's really for immersion you might be a Star Trek fan and want impulse engines you know in this type of thing or you might just want the command for thrusters 25% and so on so what we've done is we've made it so that we we cater for everybody in here and similarly the way that we edited a command earlier you can have a look at these and that one there I've just got for 25% you can edit the spoken command or you can add another phrase to that if you so wish so as far as um, using any of these said commands you would just go down and look at what these are now okay so we've got our profile on We'll click done that's been added now um, in the next video we'll look at being able to compile all of those spoken commands into a list so that you can easily look at them and know exactly what they are